here we are on our 2.5 topic for chapter 2 stream. So this is the statically indeterminate problems. So here we will define what is statically determinate and statically indeterminate. So actually, ito kasi yung topic na ano, determinacy of a structure is under talaga sa structural theory. Kasi doon sa structural theory, ano pa, sinusolve pa talaga doon ng mga student, studyante or ng professor kung paano ma-determine yung determinacy ng isang structure, okay, using uh, some equation, okay, then malalaman nila kung ang isang structure is determinate and indeterminate. So dito sa strength of materials or mechanics of deformable bodies, i-define lang natin siya, okay, so hindi natin kailangan pang determine okay, anyway, ano lang siya, um, parang ano lang, introduction lang ng mga indeterminate problems, okay? So, kapag sinabi natin statically determinate, okay, yung ano, yung number of unknown is equivalent to the number of equations to be needed to solve those unknown. Ibig sabihin, um, enough or sufficient yung ano, equilibrium conditions or equilibrium equations to solve the number of unknowns in a certain structure. So, kung saan, kapag ano, statically determinate yung ating um, structure, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng equilibrium condition. So, kung napapansin ninyo, so, sa ating chapter 1 and sa halos kalahati ng ating chapter 2, ang ginagamit na lang natin doon is equilibrium condition. Kasi yung ating mga structure doon is statically determinate. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, yung number of unknowns natin is equivalent to the number of equations needed to solve yung mga unknown. Okay? So, sir, paano naman po kung hindi na nag-equal? Okay? Kapag hindi na nag-equal yung number of unknowns and number of equations, ganyan, ibig sabihin, hindi na enough. Okay? Ganito siya. Hindi na enough yung number of equations natin okay, to solve the number of unknowns. So, kapag ganyan, hindi na Okay, hindi na kaya yung ano, yung equilibrium condition lang. Okay? So, kapag sinabi natin ano, statically indeterminate, hindi porket hindi natin ano, basta-basta masasolve yung problem using equilibrium conditions is hindi na talaga siya kayang isolve. Okay? Ang ang ibig sabihin lamang noon is kailangan pa natin ng iba pang process or additional equations to solve the unknowns. Okay? At doon tayo, okay, at doon natin gagamitin yung tinatawag natin as compatibility equations. Okay, so ito yung mathematical expression natin. Okay, kasi kapag statically indeterminate problem, meron yung tinatawag natin as geometric restrictions. Ayan, geometric restrictions. Kapag sinabi na natin geometric ano, restrictions, meron kasi itong ano, um, additional members or sumobra yung ano, number of members, sumobra din yung number of reactions from the supports, okay? Kaya nagkakaroon siya ng geometric restrictions. Kaya gagamit na tayo ng compatibility equations para dun sa, ano natin, um, yun ay maging, ano natin, uh, mathematical expression for these um, restrictions, okay? So, ano nga ba yung compatibility equations? Ito yung nagpo-provide sa atin ng additional Equations. Yan. So, yan, additional equations para dun sa mga unknowns natin na hindi kayang, kaya, hindi kayang isolve ng basta-basta using equilibrium conditions. Okay? So, kapag ganito, dito tayo gumagamit ng ano, mga equations using strains or okay, elongations. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung Ano natin? Strains. Ang strain natin is ito, yung epsilon. Tapos, yung ating elongation is yung delta. Okay. So, yan yung, ano, yan yung mga definition ng ating statically determinate, statically indeterminate, and compatibility equations. So, ano nga ba yung procedures in solving statically indeterminate problems? Una, okay, draw the FBD. Okay, yung free body diagram. Pangalawa, use equilibrium condition. Okay? Equilibrium 
condition. Okay? Ayan. So, pangatlo. Okay, ano, gagamit naman tayo ng compatibility equations. Kapag hindi pa enough, okay, so medyo naglolok yung ating, ano, ating tablet. Compatibility equations. Kapag hindi pa enough yung compatibility equations, doon tayo gumagamit ng isa pang concept, yung Hooke's Law. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Tapos, doon tayo gamit ng, or doon natin isosolve. Okay. Solve the equilibrium. Solve the equilibrium and compatibility Okay, compatibility equations. Okay, Pagkasama-sama natin mga equations na yun para masolve yung mga unknown forces. And naglolok ko talaga yung ating. So, ano nga ba meron sa ano, procedure natin? Siyempre, sa number 1, draw the FPD. Ibig sabihin, uh, mag-isolate tayo ng mga member or yung, yes, yung mga cross-sectional area natin. Then, ilalagay natin doon yung mga internal forces. Okay, yun yung ano. Sa so, number 1, draw the FPD or free body diagram. Then, we will use equilibrium condition para makagawa tayo ng mga equations. Pero, unahan ko na kayo, dito sa, ano, sa number 2 procedure, sa equilibrium condition, makapag-create tayo ng mga equations na maraming unknown is either 3 or 2. Okay? And dahil do sa number of unknowns na yun, patunay yun na hindi enough yung uh, equilibrium condition para masolve yung mga unknown na yun. Okay? Kaya pupunta tayo no, sa number 3, compatibility equations. Okay? Gamit yung Hooke's Law. Okay? Kung tayo gagamit ng uh, string equation or elongation equation, then... Uh, pagkasama-sama natin yun sa number 5, okay? pagkasama-sama natin yung mga equations na yun para masolve na yung mga unknowns. Okay? So, yun yung, ano, yun yung procedure natin sa ating statically indeterminate problems. Okay?